Letter V reads, a strip of copper is immersed in a concentrated nitric acid solution, and we are being asked to indicate observations that a chemical reaction is occurring. With the letter V, copper metal will be written out as Cu, and the concentrated acid HNO3. Now we might be tempted to follow a, a common pattern known as a single replacement where copper kicks out the hydrogen, but based on observation, when we drop a copper penny into strong nitric acid, we start to see a brown gas come out and we start to see the solution turning blue, indicating that we've created a copper two nitrate solution. Now that brown gas that's coming out is very unique to nitrogen dioxide and copper nitrate will be the blue colored solution that we see. We can make sense of that in terms of the single replacement pattern and then of course we would see water vapor coming out as well. So when we consider balancing we've got two units of the nitrate plus one more nitrogen over here. We end up having a four in front of the HNO3 giving me two units of NO2 and two units of water. Now thinking about breaking apart any strong electrolyte, we would with the nitric acid, four hydrogen ions and four NO3 negatives. The two units of nitrogen dioxide stay together since it's molecular. Copper now, uh, copper two nitrate would dissociate giving us two nitrate ions and leave together the molecular water. So what do we see in the overall equation? Well, I can eliminate two nitrates from the right-hand side and simplify with leaving a net remainder of two on the left-hand side. The coppers do not cancel. Notice this is solid copper, oxidation of zero on the left, but now it's copper ion with an oxidation of plus two on the right, so that will not be eliminated. Our final answer is Cu plus four hydrogen ions plus two nitrates yield two nitrogen dioxide molecules, a copper plus two ion, and two water molecules. And knowing that we were asked for observations, this is um, the nitrogen dioxide would be the brown heavy gas that would come out. So we would definitely see uh, evidence of change as the brown gas bubbles out of the top of the test tube. We would also see the um, aqueous acid go from clear. So the solution we could write starts clear, but turns blue. Anytime you have aqueous copper ion in solution, you can uh, count on that being that uh, blue color indicating the copper has now dissolved due to Cu plus 2. So we see a brown gas and the solution turning from clear to blue.